Hi, it's Chris with Bernice of the Rockies, and on today's show, we're going to talk about how small or how big Bernese mountain dogs get. So stay tuned. Okay, so welcome back to the Bernese of the Rockies YouTube channel, the place to be if you love all things Bernese Mountain Dogs. And it's Tuesday, so Tuesday means Bernese education and, you know, fun things like that. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about the sizes of Bernese Mountain Dogs. Now, um, you know, Bernese Mountain Dogs can come in all shapes and sizes and different things like this. And, you know, when you're looking to adopt a Bernese Mountain Dog, for example, uh, it might be one of those things I really highly suggest asking the breeder how big the parents are. So the AKC has their own guidelines of you know what you know Bernese Mountain Dogs should be in sizes and different things. Now, granted, more than likely you're looking for a pet quality, so you're not looking to uh, show or be in confirmation and things like this. But they still have their own you know uh, you know ideas of what Bernese Mountain Dogs you know typically you know their size range. So um, if you imagine your shoulder blades. And, and, you know, kind of consider that your withers, you know, close to your shoulders there. Um, so if you were to take a tape measure from the ground, your dog's standing up, and you measure up. And so, for example, like a, a female Bernese Mountain Dog, um, typically the average size is between 23 to 26 inches. And so for a male Bernese Mountain Dog, the typical size is 25 to 28 inches. So, um, depending on your female, I mean, you can have a male that's, of course, shorter. You can have a male that's taller. You can have a female that's bigger. And, I mean, again, it's just a toss-up. So, um, granted, there might be that standard of what, you know, a Bernese Mountain Dog should be. But that doesn't mean it's going to be that in every single case. Um, just recently, I met a six-year-old Bernese Mountain Dog, one of the most beautiful Bernese I've ever seen in my life. And she weighed under 70 pounds. And, you know, it's just a sweet, sweet girl. You know, again, I mean, you know, like my large female, she weighs close to 130 pounds. And she's not obese by any means. She's just a big, blocky head female. Um, but I also have a girl who's more, you know, athletic and very, you know, does a lot of agility stuff. And she floats around 95 pounds. Um, and so typically the range that I've heard um, and from looking at the standards and stuff, is a female can range anywhere from 85 to 95 pounds, where a male can wear any, you know, weigh anywhere from you know, 105 to 115 pounds, respectively. And again, there's a lot of factors. There's environmental factors. You know, there's, does your dog's exercise? Does your dog's, um, you know, what's their diet? Um, you know, if somebody calls me, you know, and they say, Chris, and their dog's six months old and weighs 100 pounds, well, there's a good chance something's severely wrong, you know? Uh, you know, but I mean, everybody, you know, does different things, you know, so um, based on whatever food you serve and how many times a day, because, you know, again, you know, if you have a free range dog where you just have a bowl of dog food out and you're constantly filling it all day long and, you know, you're going through 20 pounds of dog food a day there, you know, there might be something wrong there, you know, but uh, go buy the bags. And I don't know if you know this, but if you look on the back of a dog food bag, they actually have portion um, and to show you how many calories your dogs are getting. And I always recommend talking with your vet because your vet's going to be your number one person to talk to to say, hey, you know, use this dog food or don't use this one, you know, for sure. Um, and kind of steering the direction of how many calories your dog should be eating. Um, of course, if you have a small like dachshund and you're feeding it like a large breed dog food, you know, it might be like this huge body with this little bitty head. So, you know, you can have a lot of different things. But at the same time, if you're feeding a large breed dog a... Um, uh, you know, a small breed or, or something, you know, it, they may not be getting the nutrition that they need. So, um, really, based on size, um, I would say, you know, height-wise, you know, look at the parents. Look at what the parents, how tall they are, different things like this. Um, Weight-wise, you know, same thing. Look at the parents, um, but also kind of take in the fact of environmental. So then just in general, you know, when you make your decision on a Bernese Mountain Dog, it's one of those things where, um, think about your lifestyle, for example. You know, I've had people come to me and they say, Chris, you know, I live in an apartment or a townhome and I love the idea of owning a large breed dog, but I don't really want to go like large breed dog, like a Great Dane or Irish Wolfhound or something, you know, maybe even a giant breed they might can be considered. Um, so it's one of those things where, you know, if you can kind of stay on a lower end, they might say, hey, do you have any females or any, you know, potential matches that produce smaller sized dogs? And it might be something where you say, absolutely, you know, like for me, I have a female who, you know, has usually typically under 100 pound um, size dogs. Um, and then I have, you know, 
females that produce over 100 pound dogs, you know, in terms of, you know, different sizes. And of course, typically a female might be a lot smaller and more petite in terms of, you know, their feet and their head and things like this compared to a male where they might be big and blocky and burly and muscular and, and all these other things. It doesn't take away from anything. The temperament's still the same. I don't believe that, you know, anything is different that way. We're just mainly talking about size. And so, again, we're looking at somewhere around two feet tall, you know, um, at the at the shoulders or withers, you know, is what you're looking at. Um, and then just, you know, different weights and different sizes. So, again, I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, I tr definitely try to educate you and, and talk about the Bernese Mountain Dog breed in the best way that I can. Um, again, Fridays are Burner Fan Fridays. And so if you have a question about today's video, um, if you have a question about Bernese Mountain Dogs or how I do things or me or anything else, um, you can send me an email at questions at berniseoftherockies.com and I'll be more than happy to um, address your question in the video. Um, and also, you know, please subscribe, you know, I mean, if you, if you like videos about Bernese Mountain Dogs and, uh, you know, maybe I make them a little bit entertaining or at least, uh, don't bore you to complete death. Um, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. So, um, until Friday, um, you know, if you have a burner, hug a burner and be blessed.